Lewis before his next stint. He's going to be disappointed, but there isn't going to be another stint. That is the number three Audi coasting to a halt. Didier Thays hasn't completed a lap on his return to Le Mans alongside Ralph Kellners and Johnny Herbert, who'd driven so well to get this car up to third position after their early delays. So both the privateer Audis are out. A disappointed Thierry Bootsen talking to his mechanics there. And while it's tough for some, it's not so tough for others. Out on the racetrack, the night wears on. Olivier Beretta straps himself in to the leading of the three Chryslers. And Mark Blundell, not messing around, he may have lost a lot of laps, but he's trying to unlap himself from Pirro in the leading Audi. The Lola-built MG has really proved itself, and albeit a little frail in this its first ever race, it is undeniably quick and very pretty.